Last year, Bell cut the ribbon on its new 14,000 square foot Manufacturing Technology Center, or MTC, in Fort Worth, Texas. The aim of the new facility is to develop new manufacturing processes to lower lead time, cost, and variability for components used in the company's future vertical lift aircraft. Our initial aircraft are the future long-range assault aircraft, Flora, uh, also the future attack reconnaissance aircraft, Flora. For us, that translates to V-280 and Bell 360. One's a tilt rotor, one's a helicopter. Both need simple, efficient, affordable processes. Uh, to go into the future with. And that's really our mission is to figure out the best of the best in industry from a manufacturing perspective to go along with the simplified designs that we're working on. While Bell could have developed new processes in its existing factories, it decided that a separate facility would allow for experimentation without disrupting its current operations. When we look back at ourselves and we look forward at what's ahead for FVL and all the variants, we knew we had to do things a lot differently. So our team has two missions. One is develop and mature future technologies and processes and take all the information and data from the Manufacturing Technology Center to inform our process-based factory designs, which we've already built all the factory models for our future factories. So we have baseline models that will enhance with the data from the Manufacturing Technology Center. It'll inform us on things of like how many machines we need of what type and when we need to add them depending on the rate and the mix of a given factory. Bell is still at the early stages of building out the capabilities of the MTC and aims to have it fully ready to develop new processes in metallics and composites by 2024. A lot of the things that we produce today are across very specialized, very capable pieces of equipment. We're spending a lot of time and investment in multifunction capabilities as well as better control of thermal processes. We also have large scale additive they were doing with thermoplastics for tooling and fixturing and things like that. So additive, automation, multifunction is really the world that we're moving towards. The MTC will focus on improving processes for critical components like rotors, drives, and airframes. Our initial tasker is to go after the research and development of the process, and that's really our, our key deliverable. In order to do that and prove out process capability, we're gonna build the first few units for our manufacturing development phase. Uh, and then maybe the even as into the first low rate initial production lots for the components. The staff of the MTC is already figuring out ways to make improvements. Several things that we've done have allowed us to go from our major critical components from, from months to weeks, uh, from hours to minutes, and even minutes to seconds. Hole drilling is a good example of that. We have a very precise hole in airframe structures that we have to produce. It has uh, seven design requirements around every hole, believe it or not. Uh, and we were taking a minute, minute and a half a hole, which is pretty, pretty okay for that much precision. Uh, but now we can do those in like 12 seconds. One key goal of the MTC seems to be in its use as a catalyst for cultural change within Bell. The big thing for the technology center and what it's enabling is an awareness that uh, competency isn't just a word you can use. You have to grow and evolve it in a way that uh, many hadn't put a lot of thought into because we've always been very, very capable in our engineering solutions. Going forward, we've got to create the next generation. And this place is that enabler that allows us to not only field exciting new products, but also create opportunities for our new workforce and also grow them around some exciting new technologies.